The vocal we're hearing now fluctuates quite dramatically in level as the singer either sings louder or softer or simply comes closer into the mic or moves further away. Pros call the ratio between the loudest sounds and the quietest sounds dynamic range. A vocal or instrumental part that has too much variation in level or a high dynamic range is both hard to fit into a mix and also quite uncomfortable to listen to. This is where compressors and limiters come into the picture. Virtually every vocal track in rock or pop music has used a limiter or compressor to control its dynamics. I'm not sure if my own hands are the cheapest or the most expensive compressors you can get, but it's a, nonetheless a very effective way of controlling dynamic range. Compressors came out of the world of radio and um, to solve a very practical problem, and that problem was to deal with um, sound sources at different levels. 